Hi guys, Arte here. So for today's video, we'll be talking about Jin Chu, the newest Esper, which is the Tiger Esper. Alright, so um, before I start the video, I will separate this video into a few sections. You can follow, uh, you can choose the part that you want to look at um, with the timeline. So first, I will be talking about Jin Chu, his basic kit and what his kit is actually doing and his resonant as well. Then after that, I will show you uh, show you his performance in um, better, uh, VR Battleground and I also show you Jin, Xiu, uh, Jin Chiu plus Jvid combo which is very satisfying to see alright so um, let's start the video so first of all let's take a look at Jin Chiu here okay so this is his model which is very cool and his definite is very good as well so his definite skill is when HP lower than when his HP is lower than the enemy's HP, then his S3 damage increased by 25%, which is nice. And he have a leader, a leader buff of 40% attack in Ritual Miracle, Sonic Miracle, Desolate Land, Sentinel Hunt, and Felesto Fantasy, which in, which is including as um, Chimera as well, um, the Anomaly. Alright, so S1, he will deal damage, true damage to one enemy, which means all his attack won't uh, won critical because true damage cannot be crit and he have a very high skilling with attack power and defend as well so he skills with attack and defense for his main power and when he have the punish evil he'll attack two more enemy and inflict config later i'll explain about config then s2 s2 is the skill that will reduce your max hp 30 percent and give you uh intimidate buff and gain one more turn so you can treat s2 as a bone uh, buff yourself and uh, give you uh, give you extra turn. So, what is punish evil um, does? So you just need to know that you just need to know that punish evil give you a base attack of fifty percent boost and base defense at fifty percent boost. And every time enemy is inflicted with debuff, will increase two percent of base attack. And if enemy is inflicted by uh, no not enemy when Jin Chiu is gained buff from his own teammate, he'll gain another 2% of base defense, up to 150%. This effect the, do not change in real time. What does this mean is, uh, whenever the buff is not here, if the buff is not applied on him, the, this 2% boost still stacks. For example, if you cast Dahlia first, which is 2 buff to him, right? Critical and attack um, boost. When you cast this 2 um, buff, and this Punish Evil here will become a 54% base defense when you have the Punish Evil buff because it does not affect in real time which means every time it will keep stack so the, the more buff she, he get before the more debuff the enemy um, got before the more stats this buff gives you so the, lo the longer the fight, the better it is okay then for Intimidate is you can treat it as an uh, advanced absorb so absorb is you damage him and then you gain back some um, percentage of HP, right? So you deal damage and then recover HP. The healing is 20% of your damage. But why should why did I say it's an advanced absorb? Because there's another stat stack here, which Jin Chiu gains Chiu at the end of her turn, which is Chiu strength 30% of the max HP. So he himself will get another Chiu. No, not just reducing HP, not just absorbing HP, he also gain back a 30% of max HP. Which is very good. Okay, then his skill up is reduced two turn, which means his S two have only two turns of cooldown. Which is insane. You can just spam it. Yeah, you spam S two, gain one turn. Then you can spam S three. Then when your turn come back again, you're gonna cast S two again and then cast S one, something like this. Then for S three, it's a true damage to all enemy. This true damage scaling is up to one hundred and twelve percent attack bonus and one hundred percent of defense. Then you inflict convict. Convict. Okay. This is the interesting part. Okay, and, and one more thing for his S3. Every debuff on a target increases the damage by 10%, which is something good. Alright. Okay, what does the Convict does? Every time, uh, so the Convict have two turns. And if the enemy had Convict, and when they move, and they didn't cast buff or other, other thing, they actually attacks. They're going to get a true damage of their 4% max HP. Okay. Not just that. When they take damage, which actually also get triggered by this true damage, this true damage can actually trigger this damage. The caster, which is Jin Chiu, will get another ten percent AP boost trigger once per turn. Okay, so 
no matter you hit the enemy or not, when when the enemy take their turn and they actually cast an attack, you will get a ten percent AP boost. Okay, so it's it's kind of like Matteo, but not Matteo. Matteo is only trigger when you hit the spark enemy. Every time, every crit give you a five percent AP boost, which they you uh like you hit five times, so it's a twenty five percent AP boost. But if you hit but for his uh for Jin Chu case, it will only cast ten percent AP. That is the maximum. But and and once per turn. And but the good thing is, when enemy on config um takes their turn, you also get the AP boost. All right. So uh maybe you feel that it's complicated. Actually, it's not. I'll sh I'll showcase in the video later, uh in the VR battleground later, and let's take a look at the resonance. So I would say Tiger is the R two Esper. Basically, a uh, very long word, right? But basically, anyone who inflict debuff to enemy, they will get one punish evil buff, which is a base attack boost twenty five percent, and a base defense boost twenty five percent for one turn. And anyone who buff Jin Chiu will get intimidate, which will get the healing buff, the the uh, absorb buff, and the shield buff. But the shield buff doesn't work at the moment. Maybe it's a bug, or maybe it's not. We are still referring it to the um dislike support, but. Who who inflict buff, uh, who inflict debuff to the enemy, they gain bonus attack percent and defense per percent. But it's a ba uh, it, the bonus is co uh, convert to the base. Then anyone who give him buff will get absorb buff. That is what his as uh, R two does. So he when, if you hit R two, he will become uh not just a DPS esper and also a team wide buffer. This is why his R two is good. Then R4 is something um, extra bonus for the damage. Then R6, uh, technically, he j he will be uh, immune to stun and sleep. He cannot stun, he cannot sleep. That is his R6. Alright, so then... We also take a look as he at his ascension. Oops. Okay, ascensions. So for this one, we'll, um, if you have Intimidate, you dispel one buff, the debuff, and then you gain AP for 30%. Then, here is HP percent, here is Defend percent, here is Attack percent. So he'll be like, kind of tanky, and dealing um, massive DPS at the same time. And for his stats recommendation, I will recommend go focus on HP, Attack, and Defend. He doesn't need speed, I feel, unless you want to inflict the Convict first. But uh, for my case, if I build him, maybe I'll put some AP pusher you need to push him to the first one. Uh, for example, like TA, AP swap, then he'll be the first one, right? Then apply Convict to everyone. What The reason why I say he doesn't need any speed is because he, he'll consistently get the AP push at the same time. It's like Matteo. Matteo doesn't need a uh, high speed because he can he get AP, bush, uh, AP boost by the spark. So so as well as Jin Chiu. Jin Chiu's one has have Convict. Uh, AP push by 10% and then he doesn't need crit rate he doesn't need crit damage he doesn't need accuracy and maybe a little bit resist is good but not needed if you are R6 because R6 you, do, you won't get stunned you won't get um, sleep you mainly focus on these three stats okay that's all for his uh, stats part and gearing part I personally recommend Calamity set which what we tested from the live stream just uh, earlier Seems like Calamity Sex um, will boost his damage and he will be dealing a lot of debuff, right? So Calamity Sex is one of the choice. And I will also recommend uh, maybe Astro Set. But keep note that because now of the a lot of the PvE content now there's turn limit assist. So maybe Astro Set is not the way to go. And maybe I also build him with Warhammer. Or maybe I'll build him with we uh not we walker what's that called? Uh, we with brawler or avatar for the two piece set. But for now we need further testing for the set set wise. For but for now in PDA server I'm just putting him on calamity set and avatar. So let's take a look his performance in VR background. Okay, so we we're gonna test him alone first. Okay, then I reduce the HP. Okay, 
So I use uh, I use the S2. I reduce my own max HP, but I gotta get buff with which is the punish evil and intimidate. So intimidate it will let me recover back HP, and after I end of my turn, I'll gain a shield strength of thirty percent max HP, and I also get some stat boost. It's base attack and base defense. So now I cast my S3. So you can you can see I recover HP. I trigger calamity, and I gain a shield. And do you notice that I gain back my turn already? Because every time they move, they're gonna trigger this true damage because they attack. And then when they they trigger the true damage, he will get a ten percent AP boost. So let's see again. And also, this ten percent AP boost can be triggered when they get damage, which means when I attack. So you can see with I damage, and take a look at my AP, twenty percent AP. When everyone is still at the starting here, because I hit, I trigger, I trigger the uh, convict on the enemy. Okay, I, my turn again. Then S3 again. Okay, now you look at my AP, twenty percent again. And every time they move, you look at my AP bar. I'm getting push, and they die. Okay, one more time. Now you pay attention at the AP bar. They attack me first. Okay, I, oops, I S three. Look at my AP bar. Pop, I jump. Pop, I jump. Pop, I jump. I jump. I jump. Something like this. Okay, that's uh. So every time they, when they move, they trigger the true damage. Then the true damage will trigger ten percent AP boost on him. That's why I I personally recommend that um, he doesn't need any speed stats. So for your, uh, imagine if you don't have any speed stats and then you want to inflict, uh, inflict it first, right? So we can put like TA. So TA skill will AB uh will able to AP swap. So I'm gonna enhance uh put in some gear for TA. Okay, so now I AP swap. Okay, then I inflict first. Then they move, I AP push. They move, I AP push. They, oh, they, they cleanse it already. But you get the point, right? Alright, so another thing. What if... Alright, what if... You are R2 Tiger, and... What is it so important to have R2 Tiger? So for example, I put one Ethan here. I put Clara. Um, Priska. Okay. So let's take a look here. So I'm going to AP push, which will grant buff to... Um, the tiger, right? Which R2 will trigger his intimidate buff to Clara. So you can see Clara have a golden golden room buff, which he uh, Clara can deal damage and restore twenty percent of the uh, the damage, which is the absorb. Then Prisker here is to inflict the buff, right? And my Prisker got a buff, which is punish evil. So my Prisker is going to get a base attack increase of twenty five percent and base defense increase by twenty five percent. For example, uh, Ethan here, same thing, I inflict debuff, I also get the AP, uh, the damage boost as well. See? Okay. And, let's take a look. For example, um, you need like... Embla. So, we, uh, Embla, is, uh, Corruptor Seed is a Silver Rim buff, right? A silver room debuff, but even that will trigger. You take a look. So, my Embla now have a base attack increase of twenty five percent and base defense increase of twenty five percent. Even silver silver room buff will trigger the R two, uh, R two type uh, Jinchu's buff. Also, for example, Yun Chuan. Yunchuan's S3 
will inflict speed down, which is debuff, and gains uh, speed up to all allies. So he's gonna get two buff at the same time. Okay. Everyone to your positions. All right. Oh, oh. I'm faster. Okay, then now I use S3. Look, I have two golden room buff. So my Yun Chuan now, he will always have a uh, absorb buff on him, and he have a base attack increase and base defense increase. So your Yun Chuan can be the slowest Yun Chuan as well, and he will he call, uh, the whole duration he will be uh, having this buff. So every time he pursued, he gonna get back. Uh, he gonna restore HP, and the pursuit damage is also increased as well because of the base attack increase. So it's a very good pair, uh, like Yun Chuan with the. Uh, with Tiger. Okay. Then for the next part, I'm going to introduce you the furry team. <laughs> which is Jamie and Jin Chiu. Jamie. Ding ding. The furry team. Okay. How does it work? So in Jamie here, he have a debuff called Judgment Seal. Every time uh, where the target is have the Judgment Seal, and it takes a hit, it deals splash damage, which is a true damage, to two of an uh two of their enemy. And uh the splash damage is uh five percent of their max HP up to fifty percent of J JV's attack. Okay? It triggers once per turn, but multiple judgment seal effect on different target is calculated in individually. But we didn't really um, utilize JV's um buff uh judgment seal last time. But if you pair these two together, they will have a uh, interesting reaction together. Okay, let them attack first. Because I want the middle one to use the dispel. Okay, good. Okay, so now I inflict the judgment seal. And then I apply the config. Okay, now we take a look. Boom. See the look at the damage. Whenever they hit, they trigger the judgment seal. Okay, then what if <laughs> what if again? What if you're gonna put another debuffer which is Archibald? Eh, he is not this type. Okay. So what he does is he uh his one swing here um increase their basic ability damage, but they're gonna force them to use basic ability only. Then after they end the turn, they're gonna deal true damage to all member. And this true damage of all member will also trigger the judgment seal as well. So we can take a look how, how it looks like. It will be a firework. Okay, so Judgment Seal. Oh, I cast the wrong, wrong one. Okay, if we boost. Everyone to your positions. Okay, judgment seal. Okay, so this debuff, the one swing debuff will force them to only cast basic ability. And when they can only cast basic ability, they will confirm trigger config. And config will trigger um, judgment seal. So there's three silver rim debuff here, and wh when they take that turn, boom, 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 
they they kind of kill themselves. <laughs> okay, even better. We know the best amount of debuffer is Hilda. Because he can inflict like a lot of poison buff at the same time, right? So let's take a look. Uh, I'll reduce her speed. Mm. Increase their level. S3 inflict the poison. Then judgment seal. Then Archibald's one swing. Then config. Okay, we look at the party. <laughs> they die. They just die. Then let me finish them. Boom. So this is a very good... They have like... Between the tiger and lion. They have a very good... Um, pair, team comp there. And Archibald is a very good uh, one swing unit. Um, I mean the debuff. Will make them force them to only cast basic ability. Which will make them... Trigger the config, which will trigger the judgment seal. So it's very very good. So yeah, how do you think about Jin Chiu? I personally, I think he's a very good Esper. He's definitely be my R two Esper. And yeah, so that's all for the video today. Uh, today, and if you have any comments or have any ideas, feel free to leave the comment down at the video. And if you are interested to look back, uh, what we did some testing. At the live stream earlier feel free to go take a look at the live stream as well i'll put the link down at the video description below all right see you guys in the next video bye bye